Hi, my name is Miss Cooper, and we are here in the bug class, or backyard and urban gardening here at Tuckahoe Middle School. And today we're gonna to be talking about native plants. So everyone should have opened on their computer the native plants plan on Schoology. Nod your head if you've opened it. Good job, good job. It should look something like this. We're gonna talk a little bit about it in here, and then we're gonna go outside and work in the garden. Um, we're gonna start with doing some research. So remember how we talk about IB design criterion and IB design? We're gonna start today with the inquiring and analyzing step. So today, you're gonna do some research to figure out about some native plants, what invasive plants are, and some of your favorite plants. We also have lots of native plants outside that we've talked about before, and we're gonna work on getting those transferred over to the library where, where we've been preparing that space. You can see later on in this presentation, you're gonna work on a plan to design and create the solution where we're gonna put our native plants from our raised garden beds into the library where you guys have been preparing that space, okay? Um, we're also going to, at the end, connect it to our HLP durable life skills, and you guys are gonna tell me about what life skill you think you are learning through this process of planning and developing the solution for our native plants, okay? So we're gonna spend probably about 10 or so minutes for you guys to start doing some of your inquiring and analyzing on slide two and slide three, and then we're gonna go outside and do some work. Does that sound good? Yes. yes, all right. You may go ahead and get started. I do not mind if you chat with the person next to you to help you get started on this, but you wanna get started on slides two and three. Two and three. So you're gonna need to use some resources like Google or Britannica to find some of these things. Right, how's it going? Good. Very nice. So a native plant is something that's from our area. It's meant to grow here. Good. How are we doing over here? We're doing oh, I like how you're using Britannica. That's a good resource. <coughs> Do you need some help to getting started? Okay, so let's take a look at the so define native plants. So we need to look up a definition. Let's open a new tab and we can go into Britannica. Ah, you knew what to do. Have you used this before? So we need to look up, we can change, I think we can change it from articles. These are about, plants are there. We can also use, to find a definition, we can use a dictionary. Why don't you try typing native plants in there and see what you come up with. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Mm -hmm. 
can call you for thousands of years. Mm -hmm. Does that mean like the zones? Yeah, right. I like how you connected it to the zones, right? So you know how we have the different growing zones? Different things can grow in best in those zones, and so that's what we call them native, right? And they grow really well here, and they're meant to grow here in our particular climate. So maybe instead of asking about specific plants, we look up a list of native plants. So how about like list of plants native to Virginia? Mm-hmm. Let's try that search. How are we going? You need some help? Okay. So what we can do is go here. You can start with a dictionary, right? Because dictionary gives you definitions. C T I. And then on the dictionary, you can search native plants and see what it comes up with. Do you see any of the plants we, we have? Uh huh. Oh, mm, mimosa tree. Yeah. <coughs> the dictionary. That's a good start. So type in native plants and see what it says. You want some help? Okay, let's look up dictionary. And let's look up native plants. Hmm. So we can look right here, and it will tell us about So we weren't finding the search result that we were looking for on here. So let's try another search. And what are native plants? Let's try that. All right, we're going to work for another, like, say, three or four more minutes. And then we'll come back. Mm -hmm. So you'll end up in the, we have this in our garden, so I want you to put a picture in here so we know what it looks like. And then you're going to eventually use those pictures on the picture of the library so you can plan out where they're going to go. That's like next steps. What are we thinking? Do you need help? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to write three sentences about the importance and benefits of planting native plants. So we want to figure out why should we even worry about planting native plants. Okay? Mm -hmm. Slides two and three. You can wait for just a second. Okay. How are we doing? Doing okay? Yeah. So I'll have you switch these. Hold on. Switch these to be over here because this is your list of three things and this is your definition. Just switch them. Okay. You can copy and paste it to switch it. How are we doing over here? Good. All right, take about two more minutes. Nice. Do you remember seeing those outside? 
They're, they're not blooming anymore, right, because it's about to be fall, and they are dying off. But Good. All right, one more minute. It's okay. We'll come back in and work on it. No stress. No stress. Mm. Oof. Have you tried when it does the Del symbol plugging it in? It's fully charged. I know, but sometimes that will like kickstart it to like come on. I don't have a charger. Okay. Well we'll solve that issue later. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Let's talk about native plants. Pac-Man your computer screen. Ha close it halfway. We'll come back to it, I promise. I know you're excited to get this sorted out. Um, those of you who got to, was this thing on? No. Um, those of you who got to the sentences about the benefits or importance of planting native plants, does anyone want to share one sentence that they wrote? Go ahead, Kinley. Yeah, they help the soil and provide habitat for animals. That's really nice. Do you guys remember when we came back in the summer? I would say, hey, let's look and see how many different bugs we can count on this one plant. Do you remember doing that? Nod your head if you remember doing that. Yeah. That's because it's providing habitat for those animals. You have one, Clark? Um, they're easier to grow because, like, they're like, native. Yeah, they're much easier to grow here, right? If it's supposed to grow here, then why not plant it here? It'll go, grow pretty easily. Does anyone else want to share a sentence? What do you think, John Luca? They provide food and shelter. Mm -hmm. They provide food and shelter for animals. Last thing I want to talk about before we go outside is you guys were looking up invasive plants. What's an invasive plant? Sam. Bamboo, Bamboo is an invasive plant. Does that mean, what does that mean? Like, if I say something's invasive, what does it mean, Charlie? It means that it comes from somewhere else and it's not good for the other plants. Right, it comes from somewhere else, not where you're from. It's not good for the plants or the animals there. It usually has a very negative or bad effect to the environment, right? It can take over and kill out all the native plants. Okay, we want to focus on transferring our native plants from the raised garden bed into the library, by the library, so they have more room to grow. Okay, if you would close your computer, we're going to get ready to go outside. Are you ready for the directions? Yes. Okay, now this row, this row here, you're going to be my watering row. So you guys will grab a watering can before you exit. The second row, you guys will be helping with weeding. And then I'll have a crew that is going to help with keeping up with the library maintenance. So we're going to keep working on getting up those weeds in front of the library so we can start to transfer our native plants over there. Hold on one second. I'm just gonna be where the Cameron person is and then I'll come. What's wrong with it? Okay, to get a different one, set that one out to the side. We're just making a pile right here for now and they're getting a trash, uh, Allie's, or Allison's getting a trash bag. Thank you. Hey man, be careful, cause you just got dirt on somebody. Sorry Shaheen. So remember, what are we getting this place ready for? Native the native plants. Don't put the dirt in there. Just the just this stuff. Hmm? I think someone decided that this was a good idea, and it wasn't. 
I think you can use a shovel that's in here or nothing. Grass is a weed. Mm -hmm. Grass is a weed. Mm -hmm. no, but so, why, so why do other weeds kill the grass? What do you mean? How do other weeds choke out the grass? Oh. What do you mean by choke out the grass? Like how does it kill the grass? I thought weeds kill grass. Mm. Or do they kill plants? They kill plants. Wait, but aren't, aren't isn't grass plants? There's so many kale. Grass is a plant, but it's, grass is actually technically an invasive plant. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, look at that. It reseeded itself. So the yeah. seeds that the kale plant made fell down into the soil, and now it's growing again. Should we move him over here, there? Because he's a native plant, I believe. I think we'll leave the kale for now. If okay. you guys want to, there's some actually some pretty good tomatoes. If you guys want yeah. to pick, pick tomatoes and a few jalapenos, I would leave good? that one, but. Is this one good? Yeah, that one's good. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed our lesson. Good job, Nora. Thank you. I already spilled water on myself, so <laughs> jacket scrap. Very nice. It's looking good.